What do we got going on here? Well, we had this spare track sitting around and just taking some measurements on her. What do we got here? Is that gonna work? Oh, uh, that's the 2.6. 2.6? That's the, uh, what is this, Camelplast uh, power cloth. Yeah. The old 2.6 inch track. So you think that 2.6 is gonna, gonna work okay for mud flap? You know what? Because we're not satisfied with these mud flaps. Oh, no, double A, no. 2.6. I think we I think we could make this something. This will make this. a fine mud flap, this girl right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? That 162, right? 162. I'll put it on my sled then. No, no. This one's not this one's got a hole in it. You see that? You can't put that on your sled, it's gotta cut right through. <laughs> that one's no good for sleds. You know, if you weren't so busy over there eating tidbits, you could have had a track. You could have had a track right here. Tidbits. Remember that box of 50 we got one time? <laughs> Which time? We get that every time. I don't have any. Look ever. at that. That's going to make a damn fine mud flap right there. That'll keep the snow and rocks down from someone's windshield. So we're going to keep the smooth side out, right? So it looks nice? No. We're going to sport the 162, the 2.6. How are we going to cover up these holes? Well, no, that's just that's for porting. That's for aerodynamics. That's, we need the air to go through there. This is a heavy mud flap, so yeah, we'll uh, make another cut here and have some damn fine mud flaps here soon. Let's see here. I got that one off. Oh, you took it off already. Off Excellent. So there's there's the hanger. It's going in there. Oh, the stock ones on the other side. Oh, why does that compare to that? Those are that's uh, here. This one. Here, lay it on top here. 15 inch wide track. So this is probably. Right so we're getting way better coverage, really. <laughs> yeah, this is a way better, way better uh, mud flap for sure. Excellent. Aerodynamic, you know, a little heavier. If anyone needs mud flaps, we got probably another hundred inches we could uh, send to you guys. You know, custom sixes snow flaps. <laughs> We'll put some, you know what, Sean? This would be a damn fine snow flap for the back of your sled. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect width already. I don't know why he just didn't saws all a piece out of his. Like, oh. look at that. <laughs> yeah? <sighs> What are you guys talking about? Painting. <laughs> Painting. <laughs> I think she's a damn fine unit. <laughs> Big waste of time, eh? Right? Big waste of time, yeah. You never know what's been about. spent 10 grand. You're right. We got that laying around. Do you think we can find any politicians in everything? <laughs> yeah, I did. I know you did. He was a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to talk politics at all, he wanted to play. I can't help but feel like the pressure's on now. Because the air just got a lot more tense. 18 and a half, the music's off. <laughs> the music's off. 18 and a half by 6 foot 2. Okay. Very important measurements. Get that chalk steel? Yep, I put it back on the toolbox there. Have a look. That's fucking why do we why do we get a 15 foot one again? Because it's gonna look sweet. <laughs> Benjamin. Dude, we're not putting it on, who cares? Okay, so <laughs> what did you want to do here? We only got just self tappers and green neck screws pretty much. Uh okay. Like, <laughs> No? Oh, no? You just don't like that option? No, well, I mean, we, 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 use, we use what we got. Green deck screws, that would but not be great. You can't let any wind get under it, right? Oh, no, it's gotta be fucking stuck on there. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. It's gotta be on there, Tom. You don't let anyone get on there. But I mean, what we should do is do that and then just like fucking almost stretch it out. Yeah. I don't would think you need bad. to put a lot. Tomorrow, if you want to grab one, go to Matt's. <laughs> What do you think? Buy one washer and come and see One. Me. Just buy one. One flat fender washer, we are sure. Okay, where's this fucking... Wow, I like it. What are you looking for? The fucking... That's a damn fine handle. That's pretty much it, huh? That's the last bit. We just gotta put those string buckles on the back there. Turn on the track and that is all. Yeah. So it's gonna close nicely, right? Still? I'll well, get that zip disc on there. Gotta cut those screws. Oh, there. right. Watch your hands. Watch your hands still. So this is gonna close nicely, right? Oh wait, look at that. Good? I don't know, I think so. Do that one up first. <sighs> it's on! Okay, we got a couple little things to touch up, but... Those are straight as fuck. <laughs> Those are really straight, guys. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, I tipped it over there. You like those? Sled belt, sled belt for the handles, sled track for the mud flaps. Well, it's done. That's it. That's it. That's an that's our enclosed sled trailer. Another big decal to the side. Oh, yeah. here. And it's not needs a little touch up, but holy, that was a lot of work, guys. That was like the most labor intensive two day project I've ever done. Yeah. Really? In two days? We did a lot of shit. Yeah, it was a lot of work. Holy crap. So, Rebel Stoke in a few days. Did you, did you look inside already or no? A little bit. Yeah. Why oh, yeah. don't you show me how this yeah. fucking thing works better, here? Better go on a walk around inside quick. Take the flashlight with you. Show me how this thing works. Don't drop it on me. It works really good with two people. Yeah. Kick that pail out of the way, would you? Okay, let me kick the pail out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at that. We got our super glides all installed. That's fancy. That's fancy. Oh, now there's not, there's it's, it's a little box. Yeah. The roof's done. It's all sealed up. We got our super clamp hooks installed. D-rings. Some D-rings. It just needs a couple D-rings and that is our unit for Revelstoke next weekend. This, wait, two days, three days. I'm happy with how this whole back end turned out. I wasn't sure about that. But... Yeah, it's actually pretty good. This thing is sturdy. Like, this thing is not falling apart. Go grab a wall and shake it, somebody. Yeah. You're shaking the whole trailer. <laughs> There's no wall to shake this. Yeah. If that thing gets ripped off, there is going to be nothing left of the trailer. Yeah, it'll be gone. That thing's probably sturdier than a lot of other trailers on the road. Beautiful. And a fraction of the cost. Yeah, very small cost for Keep an enclosed. Fraction of the cost. Yeah, very small cost for an enclosed trailer. Well, it's probably 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. this time, but we finished. Where'd my hat go? <laughs> Did you throw it? That's probably over there behind your pearl. Okay.